All right, we're going to look at the data here for the um, determination of an equilibrium constant. To do this, we're going to do this in both Excel and we're going to do it in um, Google Sheets. First thing you want to do is you're going to make sure you've set your X and Y axes correctly. Both Google Sheets and Excel automatically take whatever column is on the left and use it for the X axis. The column on the right is used for the Y axis. So I have put a label in here of my concentration of the ion thiocyanate. This is what we did in our first set of um, beakers and beakers one through four. And then we got it measured its corresponding absorbance. Um, I've taken and I've plotted in or put in the concentrations for the ion thiocyanate and the absorbance. This is a data from a student. Thank you, by the way. And what I'm going to take and do with this data is I'm going to do a scatter plot. I'm going to do a scatter plot because we're going to use a trend line and the equation for a trend line to do the remainder of our calculations. So if I take and I click and drag down my data, I go over to the charts, I click on the scatter chart, do it with no lines involved, and your graph is going to look something like this. You've got a couple of options. You can either go to the plus and add a trend line. I find it easier to right click on a data point and go straight add a trend line. When you do that, the immediate option is linear. Once you have your linear trend line, you can go down to where it says display the equation on the chart. And this is going to give you your linear equation that is going to allow you to go between the absorbance and the concentration. So part one, we knew our concentration and we measured our absorbance to get this calibration curve. For part two, we're going to use this equation, this best fit line right here, to go backwards and go from our absorbance into the corresponding concentration. All right, with Google Sheets instead, if I go to Google Sheets instead, I can get a similar graph. Again, my x-axis is going to be the concentration. The y is going to be my absorbance. I'm going to click and drag across. I'm going to go up to Insert. I'm going to insert a chart. And the chart that I'm going to insert here is going to be a scatter, because mine always do scatters now. Now I need to put in the trend line. It's a slightly different setup here. I'm going to go down to Customize. I'm going to go to Series. Customize, Series, and then I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to scroll down to clicking on Trend Line. Now notice the equation isn't there yet. I have to keep scrolling until it says Label. Label is where it chooses to put the equation on the chart. And here is now the equation, and it's a function of absorbance, absorbance being your y-axis. Again, this is over here on the left. And the concentration of the iron thiocyanate here is on the right. So make sure you've written down this equation. And once you've done that, we can use this equation to calculate the concentration of the iron thiocyanate in the second part, given the absorbance.